I'm gonna start with this one. And then charging $3,000 for one. Okay, so this is just greedy. I mean, it's a first time litter. Well, it's probably because they're having to pay AI fees to create this dog because mm -hmm. how do you get a Chihuahua and a Malinois to, to make die? Actually, yeah. So there's probably AI fees. But and which again shouldn't even be there in the first place because that's cross. But anyways, yes, three three grand three for grand. this dog that's not going to be able to do work because it won't be enough of a Malinois and it's probably not going to be enough of a pet to be a Chihuahua. Yeah. So what is it going to be? It's going to be a oh, so people are going to buy this for three grand and then pay another four grand for training because they're not going to know what to do with this like demon Malinois Chihuahua. <laughs> Chihuahua. But three thousand dollars. You know you can't even you buy working line Malinois for less than that. Mm -hmm. Like Malinois will cost under three thousand dollars for a nice, nicely bred working Malinois. Yes. And a Chihuahua, about the same, three thousand dollars and under, depending on your country, right? Yep. So to combine a, a mixed breed dog and sell it for three thousand dollars when it hasn't even been proven to do anything yet. Because she doesn't even have pictures online. She, I don't know if they found it off the internet. This is what they could look like, is what the- Chat GDP or whatever. Maybe it's, maybe it is <laughs> Chat, G, Chat GPD. Why are you, why all of a sudden I can't say it? I don't know. <laughs> Probably because you couldn't say it. So then that's that. And then there's, okay, so there's, then there's no mention of what the breed was, what the intended breeding purpose was. Any there's parent, no, yeah. yeah, no message of, message, mention of, what the parents were like, temperaments, temperament testing, health testing, anything like that. There was no Nothing mention of Nothing to anything. prove that there was any, like, reasonable word, reasonable breeding. Like, there's a reasonable reason. To breed. <sighs> yes. A reasonable reason. Reputable. Reasonable. Reputable. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Right? There's nothing in there that, you know, someone could go, hey, well, they said this. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, it's just, it's capitalizing on people thinking the idea of a Malinois is cool, but if they can have it in a small chihuahua body then that's best of both worlds but breeding does not work like that no so and this is happening in alberta near edmonton yes near edmonton alberta what was it what's the name of the town remember. saint albert or saint albert it's not prince albert the opposite no. yes saint so. so that's fairly like that's in the same that's crazy mm -hmm. Ooh, i'm really sad for the people that buy those yeah dogs. please please if you're thinking about this you see this ad online do a little bit more research talk to the breeder if if you get a funny feeling that it's just going to be about money then maybe find maybe look for a nice chihuahua breed yeah that's what i did that's why it took me so long because i wanted a performance chihuahua i wanted a dog that was going to be confident and social and not the typical badly bred yippee you know unsketchy chihuahua i wanted one that would be able to you know basically fit our lifestyle fit our lifestyle and do do some training and be able to enjoy this little dog and it was a lot of research and we went to like people that would talk a good talk and then we would go see them and be like oh so like it's even people can talk a good game and you still have to you know do do your research and go check out the parents and make sure they're not there's nothing weird or sketchy and if someone tells you that oh it's because they're having an off day mm, no that's weird so mm -hmm. um it is don't we don't want to do like you have to respect good breeders that put a lot of time in you know and i found a really good you know we have good malinois breeders and i found a really good chihuahua breeder and you know you got to respect them and the work that they've done and the research and time and energy it takes to find really good dogs and then produce and then train the, and then raise these puppies and sell so there's a lot of work that goes into it you can't just cross two dogs but that's the gist of it guys so do your research and this will help you in so many different avenues when it comes to dogs, dog training, and why your dog is doing what they're doing. Exactly. Okay. In the time and day and age that this is, the day and age of designer crossbreeds. Exactly. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.